What's up guys, welcome to another Mark Hashim video. So as some of you might know, we in the Middle East are known to be quite romantic and poetic. So it goes without saying that our expressions would be just as poetic, whether they're endearing or insulting. The funny thing is that as poetic as they are in Arabic, they don't translate as smoothly in English. This is, sometimes it just doesn't work. A perfect example of this is the expression Tikra Ma'inak. Now as an expression that roughly translates as whatever you want, it's very endearing. Baba, shuya amri, shuya elbe. Can we get some ice cream? Lak tikra ma'inak, tikra ma'inak. Halla bshiblak. Now when you break it down, you have the word tikram, which is related either to the word generosity, karam, or karame, as in dignity. And then you have an, which is I. So if you analyze it, you can either interpret it as the generosity of your eye or to the dignity of your eye because your eye is so precious. Whatever your eye desires. You can't say that in English. To the dignity of your eye. Uh, sure. Next we have on my head. Now when do you use this? When you want to make a promise to someone or you give them your word, it's on my head. Hey, can you get me some chips on the way back? Le karase. Bas, it's on me. Triko. Triko. Anna, I am. You sure, man? Alayi. Arase. Next, we have Ijri. That's right, the famous foot. I love that because it's very versatile as a word and expression. You can use it, for example, directionally. Ijri fi. My foot in you. Exactly. Someone's annoying you? My foot in you. Ijri fi. You can also use it comparatively. La ijri. To my foot. If you don't care about something or whatever someone said and it's worth the bottom of your foot, la ijri. La tizi also. And then you can also go more classical, more Shakespearean. Ijri fi hadithak. Now this has a double meaning because in standard Arabic that would mean please proceed with your talk or conversation. But in Lebanese dialect it means my foot in your talk. So if you want to mess with someone and they're talking too much, you can say that. Please, ijri fi hadithak. Next, we have t'il dam or dammak t'il. So this one means your blood is heavy or you're heavy blooded. What? That makes no sense, doesn't it? Think about it. What comes to your mind or how do you feel when someone says that your blood is heavy? You're difficult, you're annoying, your blood is heavy. Ugh. No. Smamin. No. No. Smamin. I don't want. No. Here's another one. Food bilhat. Literally, enter the wall. If somebody's being extra annoying, food bilhat. It's almost like you're telling them to crash in the wall. You know, either hit their face, their toe, or their car. Next, here's a good one. Ahlan wa sahlan. Or ahla wa sahlan for the more modern version. So Ahlan refers to family, and Sahlan refers to the plains and the fields. So when someone welcomes you into their home, they're welcoming you like family. So this little expression is covering a whole history and culture of hospitality and generosity. But again, there is no way you could say this in English and make sense. Family and plains, family and plains, come in. This just doesn't work. Next you have we shot him in the eye. We're very religious and superstitious in the Middle East, as you know, so the evil eye is a great enemy. Basically, shooting someone with the eye is just cursing them and sending bad vibes, you know? Someone just is looking at you with jealous eyes. That is them sending you the evil eye. And the way to protect yourself is usually with the nadar, the famous talisman that protects you from curses and the evil eye. So it's new. Not much. Actually, there is one thing. I got a new house. Oh wow, really? Congratulations, yeah. Next, here's a simple one. Zahat. Literally, that means slide or slip. So if you want to get rid of someone because they're being annoying, you simply tell them, Zahat. Slide, slide yourself out of here. Illo Zahat hai. Another expression we like to use is balatame, without taste or tasteless. That's exactly what it means. This refers to anything that is worthless and useless. Haki balatame, ishya balatame, haki balatame skot. Next we have tohanak. Literally, that means cracking your jaw. This is for someone who talks too much 
and says nothing. They're breaking their jaw. So you're wasting words. And that also extends to just basically wasting your time. Next, we have another expression with the eye. What is it about the eye? The eye is precious and a powerful thing. That's why we use it so much in the Middle East. So this one is ma'ilayan. It kind of translates as, I don't have the heart. But really you're saying, I don't have the eye. Like if someone has a booger in their nose, but you're too shy to tell them. But you should, because it's actually more embarrassing not to tell them while they're talking to people. He's got a booger in his nose. You gotta tell him. Last but not least, we have Now that's a very beautiful one. It simply means God bless those hands. You say it to someone who's brought you something really nice or offered you something. You say it to your parents for everything they've done for you. You say it if somebody cooked something delicious for you. Like your grandma when she makes delicious dessert and you eat it all and it's made with love. There. A bunch of expressions for you to use. Thanks for watching another Mark Hashim video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you have something you want to add. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.